Today is Buffer Fest day. It is like 12 o'clock right now. So I've got my clothes. Uh, I got my suit jacket, tie, pants, shoes. I need shoes. So I'm just kind of making sure I have everything that I need for this evening and tomorrow. So there's my shoes. I'll put them in my carry-on, my backpack. I also brought some gym clothes, hoping that I'll have time tomorrow morning to do a workout. I think Candace's thing is at like uh, at 12 till two. Not that it's that long, but that's the whole kind of event that they do. So um, I left links in the description of yesterday's video. I'll try and put them in today's video, which you won't see till tomorrow, so it'll be kind of too late. So check out yesterday's video. Uh, like I said, it'll be too late. So I just gotta get down to Bradford and I'll be back. Let's go. I'm going to go down to Bradford, drop off this car. This is the Pontiac and uh, Ben has my car, but I want my car to go downtown Toronto with. So I'm going to swap cars in Bradford. He's at his friend's house and uh, then we'll continue on downtown. As you can see, I got my Suzuki back off of Ben and uh, gave him the Pontiac. I'm now in, in Newmarket and uh, headed down to Toronto to the Dirty Bird to do a review for Anthony. Let's go. made it downtown. I'm going to uh, check in. They ask you to check in before you park. Oh, my legs are so tight from yesterday. Oh my god. Yikes. Hyatt Regency Toronto. Hello. You guys in line? No. Okay. How are you? checked in. He gave me uh, an upgraded uh, internet speed, which is amazing, which is absolutely fantastic. But uh, because they don't own the parking lot, he can't give me a better rate on the parking because like $32 a night. Uh, I've got in and out privileges, which is good. Let's go park and let's go check out the room. Very cool. Hmm. Oh, here's the room, people. The room tour. Uh, the only light I forgot to turn on was this one. Kind of went through the room. Turning lights on and everything so it looks nice and pretty. So, nice washroom. Super clean. I love that sink. Nice shower hot or I was gonna say hot tub nice shower bathtub thing and I've got this semi-transparent glass so a light comes in uh, these open up and as you open it up a light turns on but they put the look where that is that is the dumbest spot for a mirror ever you have to get in the closet to check it out you have to stand in here that doesn't work at all. We got a safe, we got a spot for shoes. That's a lot of shoes. Oh, very cool. I'm like, what the? Oh, I'd hate to have been the carpenter on that job. All, all angles and stuff. So you put all your shit in there. Got some waters, waters of bottles. Look at the size of the television we got. LG, nice. Got my little workstation. Look at that. 
Look at all the connections. Oh, cool, you can plug your your computer into that and probably come out here. That's very cool. Oh, and we have a light here. Well, that's for that up there. Nice. Oh, and there's a light here. I missed that one. Very cool. Nice room, people. Got a nice little sitting area. Tons of lights everywhere. Of course, I forgot a couple of them. This is like convexed. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's uh, arced, arched. Very cool design. Kind of like it. It looks like a big fireplace. I need the fireplace channel right there. Big fireplace channel. And this is the view, which is better than another building straight on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, so uh, I'm gonna go over to the convention center, pick up my VIP plus pass or P VIP pass, and uh, just see what's going on over there at the convention center. And if things are happening, then I'll come back here, get dressed, and then go back over there. I just don't wanna get dressed in my formals and find out nobody else is dressed in their formals yet. And if I have like a couple hours to kill, which I think I do, then I'm gonna come back here, get the car, Go do a food review, come back here, get ready for tonight, because I think it starts at 6. So let's go register. I made it down to the convention center, and it looks like they're getting all things set up. There's the red carpet. Just got to find out where I had to pick up my, my pass. I don't know where to pick that up. Here at registration and Hi, I'm AJ. How's it going? AJ, and I'm at him, and you might remember him from last year, the Halloween party. He was the Terminator. You might not recognize because he had a hamburger yeah, on the side of his head. And you are? Hi, I'm Heather. And, and you're, do you have a channel too, Heather? Not really. Okay. Not <laughs> she's just, uh, not yet, Stay but, tuned. She, but she's <laughs> obviously helping, uh, obviously an amazing supporter helping out with Buffer Fest. Love Buffer. All right, it's almost three o'clock. I have to go get my car, go do that food review. Things don't start happening around here until like 8. As you can hear, I have the air conditioner on full blast to get rid of all the moisture in this air, get all the fog off my windows. There's the outside of the Dirty Bird. Uh, very, very cool review. I hope you guys love it. I think it'll be out on on Monday. I'm not sure, because we hadn't had time to do a vegging review, so I'll probably be doing the bird, Dirty Bird for Monday, and uh, vegging review will have to start continuing the week after, because we've got to find time to do it. And I don't know when I'm going to do it. All right, go back to the hotel. Well, we're ready to go. Got the suit on, got the shoes, the pants. I'm not sure if you guys have ever dealt with this before. Some of you probably have, but you put certain uh, dress pants on and you start to walk around, you start to create like an electricity static in your pants and they start to stick to your leg. That's what the lotion's for. Put lotion on your legs. Stops the static cling. Lesson learned. They're filming uh, either a TV nutcracker thing, and so this guy's carrying snow, which is funny. It looks like snow. This whole area. Making it look like it's winter time, and it's still October. Very cool. That looks so real, man. Made it down to Front Street. They're doing the red carpet over there. Lots of people have gathered. We're gonna try and make it across. This is what it's like to walk the red carpet for these guys. If you entered, this is Craig. Trying to see somebody. Craig's the only person I know so far. Wheezy waiter. 
big group of people there. Well, we're, we get to go in the VIP door, so let's go over there instead. Well, after a couple of wrong turns, I'm on the right path. The uh, red carpet is back up there beside Second Cup. And uh, I think they're just heading me towards the theater where we're going to watch a presentation of some type. And there are a few people hanging out. Let's hope we know some people. Hello, how are you? Good. And who you are? Audrey. Audrey. Yes. Well, glad to meet you. This is the industry VIP guest list entrance. Let's see if we can see anybody in here. There's food. There's drinks. Hey. Look, everybody's waving. Hello. There's Candace. There's wine? I'm gonna knock it right into the I know. How are you, sir? Chris Bunch. This is the camera the cameraman handshake. That's what we have to do. We have to work together eventually someday soon. Yeah, let's do some uh what we should do some uh what's like what's the most unhealthy thing you've eaten on your channel? Uh probably the bacon wrap deep fried poutine. Yeah, that sounds delicious. It was good. Alright, we got some beers happening here. We've got wine. Beer, 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 beer. Oh, most of Canadian. How much is a Canadian, sir? Oh, you got it over there. It's a ticket thing. You guys are gonna love the prices of these beverages. So, a soft drink is six dollars and twenty-five cents. Six dollars. Oh, and water, Spark sparkling. Twelve dollars. Yes. Well, I can see that at the dome, I, 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 but I hope it's a bowl. They better come with like a hit of cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got here? No, it's all right, I'm just looking. Looks like we got <laughs> some raisins. raisins and some, uh, I guess those are- uh, Cranberries? Cranberries, yeah. Okay. Cran what do they call them? Uh, not, cra uh, craisins, they cra call them, yes. Craisins are, are a thing. That's, that's craisins right there. And we got, looks like uh, yogurt, and then we got wasabi peas, chocolate, bowls of chocolate. That's interesting. And you can make like a banana split without ice cream. Can I go say hi to Craig? Cheers, sir. Oh, hey, good to see you. I can't shake your hand because I'm vlogging and drinking at the same time. Oh, okay. Wait, we're, we're, we're rolling right now. We're rolling. Oh, are we gonna try, are we taste testing anything or? Uh, yeah, we could. This is a Canadian. You better have Canadian in there. Uh, no, this is a, this is a, uh, it's a, it's a microbrew thing, whatever. M Makoka or whatever? Muskoka. Muskoka, yeah. Yes. Very, it's very good. That, I, yeah, I drink that too. But the, the, the uh, Molson? This is my go-to. Molson? Yeah, Molson yeah. Canadian. I had, uh, what was it, Alexander Keith. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not bad too. At the last place. That was delicious. Yeah. Delicious. It's, it's not too, do you like hoppy beer? Uh, if that wasn't too hoppy. No. Well, I mean, I sometimes like hoppy beer, but I didn't necessarily want a hoppy beer that time. It wasn't hoppy. It was like a really crisp IPA. Yes. Yeah. It's very good. I hate hoppy, hoppy beer. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like I have to be in the right mood, but I'm usually not in the mood for a hoppy beer. Yeah. It tastes like you're drinking rusty water. Mm -hmm. That's the way I think rusty well, water could, would taste. You could say that. Yeah. You, well, you, I did. Oh. I just did say that. Oh, then you don't have to say it again. You don't have to. Okay. Have you been to Austin, Texas? Uh, no. Filled with wonderful food and wonderful beer, and you should try it all. Really? Yeah. You've been there several times? I live there now. You don't. I, I do. I know that. I Chicago do. has lost a great YouTuber. Why did you move? Or should I shut the camera off? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I stole some money from Chicago <laughs> banks, and uh, we had to yeah. move. Apparently, they got yeah. upset about that. Yeah. So now you have to move to yeah. another state. No, it's mainly to get away from winter. Oh, okay. Uh, and couldn't handle it. I mean, yeah, after 35 years of winter, I think I'm, I'm kind of done. Born and raised in Chicago? Uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, mainly to get away from winter, and I've, I've toured the country a lot with the band, and we've been to lots of cities, oh, and yeah. Austin is just, like, one of the best, so. Awesome. Giving it a try. Austin? Awesome. Yeah, we've, we've, we make the, that pun all, often. <laughs> often Austin, Austin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bumped in to Corrado. Hello. Saskia, how are you guys? Good. good. Awesome. Good. Everything looks great so far. Thanks. Uh, the wasabi peas were a little questionable, but. Okay. <laughs> I'll send a note to catering. <laughs> I'm like, wasabi peas? What is that? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here with Sam and Ryan from 
Moving Mind Studio. Uh, hey. You should recognize him from a few lo uh, vlogs back where we put produced a video for Veggie Veg and you guys are in it. Yes. And uh, that's going to air tomorrow. Sometime. 12. Tomorrow at 12. Noonish. 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 Please check out their channel. It is, they're absolutely hilarious. Thank you. Uh, from Montreal. Yeah. Bonjour. <laughs> Moriel. <laughs> That's it. They said the right word. They're in. Oh. We are in the main theater. We got a bunch of people hanging out. We've got. I knew it. Or oh, you knew it. And I'm. Just gonna, I knew it. She knew it. You knew it. We all knew it. We got in trouble. We're getting kicked out. Ken, KBD Productions, yeah. KBD Productions, yeah. Oh, hey guys! Hey! Wow, Ken, oh, I, I, I didn't see you there. You didn't, you didn't see me I was talking about my favorite YouTuber and then all of a sudden you were there. Amazing. People have been asking me to do a full beer like you. That could be a good look. Uh, I, I would maybe, like to see it. I yeah. Would like, yeah, I think maybe maybe not this long, maybe shorter. In the comments right now, leave a comment. Full beard, two words, full beard, or, or same. same. So two words or one word. That's it. Both. Both. I want to see. I would like to see. For me, full beard. I want to see full beard. All right. Well, we'll see. Like you live in a cave. We'll see. Some people. 
to take the chairs out. Too many people. And I got some chips here for you. Cheers, Buck. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. you Cheers. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Of course, Great vlogging camera. like crazy. Well, the really hill party is over because I'm on a crater. So they kicked everybody out. They literally emptied the room into the hallway. I'd say at least 150 people just poured into the hallway. And uh, they're gonna slowly let them in with their special pass. But they basically asked every single person in there to leave. Except me, I was like one of the last people, I guess because I look authoritative, maybe. I don't know. But we're gonna hit lobby. Look at this little elevator people. It's all made out of wood. Hey! It is the nicest elevator I think I've ever been in. Crazy. And it's creaking. It's like the freaking Titanic. And we're going down. Just like the Titanic. It was a good day. The Fairmount is definitely a beautiful, beautiful hotel. But it's time to walk back to our hotel. Look at this place. This is like the Titanic. This guy's buffing the railing. Fantastic, a big clock. Sweet. Anyway, time to go to bed. See you tomorrow.